Hello and welcome to PlayStation Racer. My name is Mitchell Morgan and welcome to this next video in which we are heading off to the Red Bull Ring in Europe for another World Circuit race and one of the new challenges in the 1.40 update and you'll notice on the GT Cup GR3 that it is very very wet from that graphic. Now we're going to be doing this race in the BMW M6 GT3 and I initially ran this with the heavy wet tyres as you can see there but I found those to be way too slow against the AI so we're actually going to change those intermediates in a moment. The suspension the differential is all completely stock, I haven't made any changes to those at all. The ECU output adjustment is 100, the ballast is 0, the power restrictor is 100, transmission and all of those items are all stock. I've just changed the silencer to racing, the brakes to racing slotted discs. Otherwise, this is pretty much a stock vehicle. Now, before I started this race, I did actually use the new weather button, which is at the bottom left-hand side of the screen, to have a look at the weather map and see what was happening. So from an hour ago, it was pretty clear, but we had this rain that was moving in from the northwest and at half an hour before it was getting very close i don't need to worry too much about the teal but once you get up into the green yellow and purple then it can require heavy wet tires so i changed the tires to the intermediate racing and although they were very difficult to handle initially they do come to you during a race and they're definitely the tire that you want to do this race on regards of how difficult it is when you first start. So this is the GT Cup GR3 at the Red Bull Ring. Seven laps, we're going to start at the front of the pack and we need to stay there. So let's see how I did this race to bring it home for a win. Okay, so we've got fuel map one, we've got brake balance full to the rear, we've got traction control full on and we're going to go with the radar to watch where the car's behind us. Staying off the curves, braking at 100 metre board. Just going second gear to try and get a little bit of rotation there. Up into fourth gear as soon as possible because we're sliding. Just need to try and keep this uh, green Lamborghini behind us. BMW is coming back at him now, but no need to worry about that. We're going to break on 150 meter board and again we're going to go straight to the apex. Oh, we've gone a little bit wide so we'll come off the track, we're going to use that. That has actually brought us some time. That could be a cheat. As we come away from that corner miles quicker than the others. Braking on the 150 meter board. Down into second. Third, we've overshot the apex a little bit. Just try and get the power down as soon as we can on the curb a little bit, which we don't really want to do. Back end still wanting to step out between the 100 and the 50 meter board, getting it slowed down. Second gear up into third as soon as we can for traction. Up into fourth, down into third as soon as you get to the end of that curb. Pick up this apex if you can, I'm sliding a little bit, but we're okay. Up into fourth as soon as we can. Going to brake on the 100 this time. Try and get most of the braking done in the straight line and then just come off the brakes as you turn in. Just got a little bit of a wriggle on there. So we need a second gear just to calm that down. Up into fourth as soon as we can. So breaking on the 100 meter board now. Oh, I've got a bit onto the, uh, onto the line there. That's going to put us out a little bit wide. Just going to run over the red bit, going to rejoin. Pushing on now, as quick as we can. Lap two of seven. Oh, we slid on that one too. Let's just come over the tarmac, get back on the tar on the track as soon as we can. That actually seems to put you a fair old way down the track. I think that's a cheat, but hey, that seems to be working. 150. Down into second, just controlling that slide as the back end tries to step out. Don't put it on the curb too much, up into fourth to try and get some traction out of this corner. Between 100 and 50 again, just down into third, just trying to pick up this apex. 
on the power as soon as we can up in the fourth, as soon as it starts to slide. As soon as that starts to slide and the back end steps out, you know that you're losing traction, just knock it up a gear. Ideally, you want to be in a higher gear as soon as you can without losing too much speed. We've got five seconds to the cars behind. Braking on the 100 in a straight line, down into third to get a bit of rotation for this corner. Up into fourth again as soon as it starts to slide. Oh, just got it out on the curb there, just trying to control that. Up into fourth as soon as we can. You need to be really careful with these intermediate tyres. Braking on the 150 this time. We can stay out to the left a little bit more this time. That opens up this corner. Up into fourth to get traction. The cars behind are coming back at us now. While they're fighting, they're falling back. As soon as they clear each other, they are going to be fighting hard. It's a 150 metre board. Oh, just gone a little bit deep into there again. Come on, get the power down. You can hear the back wheels spinning. Just knock it up a gear when you get those wheels spinning because you're just going to sit there and lose time. As you can see, 150, get it break in a straight line. Down into second. Oh, just trying to get this rotated round. I had to park that on the corner. That's more time lost. Just trying a little bit too hard now. So I'm going to break between 100 and the, 100 and the 50 metre board there. Just getting up into second. This car's sliding around a lot now. I thought that the track would be drying out. Alas, it isn't. So we just need to try and keep this in, under control, keep it going in a straight line. Ideally, we'd like to maintain that five second gap or even build it if we can. 100 meter board. On the brakes, hard on the brakes in a straight line. Come off the brakes slowly as you're turning. Use that trail braking where you can. Easy on with the accelerator. Up through the gears quickly. That four of seven. 150 board, just slowing it down. Get on the power as soon as we can. Big slide through there, that's going to cost me time. It's drying out a little bit now. Let's see if we can break on that 100 meter board now. No, way, way, way too much. We've gone way too deep again. Oh, that's not good, that's not good, that's not good. That snape with the cars behind to close up big time. Snaking under braking, just small steering corrections. Don't take too much of that curb. Just watching the uh, rain gauge, just to see how much water there is on the track at the moment. It does seem to be drying ever so slightly, but still not very much. It's still really slippery and slidey. You can see still fighting this car. You can see that the car behind is really catching me fast now. I'm just trying to push my brake in just a little bit later. There's no point in me telling you what the braking points, etc., are like I normally do on this one, because this track is changing all the time. Three laps to go. Just before the 100 metre board. Getting it straight up into fourth gear as soon as we can. This is hard on the hard settings. Breaking just before that 100 meter board. Couldn't quite get the power down again. Still sliding. Gap to the car behind, dropping all the time.
it's quite nice having that earlier gap but now with it dropping the pressure is piling on starting to see a little bit of a uh, dry line forming can we use that keep an eye on that rain gauge on the, uh, the amount of damp or water that's on the track you see it's uh, below two thirds now so the track is drying out so we are going to have to push it a little bit more but not too much Again, we come down in here, we're looking for that 150 metre board. Breaking, breaking, breaking. Oh, we've gone a little bit too deep. We're just going to run over the red bit. Didn't quite manage to get that slowed down. The track isn't drying out quite as much as I thought. It's pushing back up towards that two third area again. We're going to break on 150 this time. Up in, oh, it's gone wide again. I don't want to keep going wide. Even though it seems to be helping, it feels like it's cheating. And I don't like that, but it is what it is. 150, hard on the brakes, down into second, third to get around the corner. It's sliding, sliding, sliding. Up into fourth. between 100 and the 50, just getting it slowed down. Third gear, still slippery out here. Just trying to carry as much speed as I can through this corner. So I'm like pushing it a little bit too hard. Just want to keep it, keep it smooth. 100 meter board, hard on the brakes come off the brakes as we turn in. Just try and balance it a little bit. Up in the fourth as soon as we can, just to try and get that traction. As we come across the line, start the last lap. 150, hard on the brakes, leave it in third this time. Over the top, just about managed to hold that one. I don't feel it's fair to keep throwing it off the track on these corners. It does seem to give you a, an opportunity, but um, it's not really fair in my mind. 150, hard on the brakes, going up the left-hand side now. Whoa, gone a little bit too deep again. Just managed to get that slowed down. Up, up into third, up into fourth with the back wheel sliding. 4.4 seconds to the car behind. I thought the track was starting to dry up, but we're still sitting at uh, around about two thirds. Even when we're in this darker line that's forming, the uh, wet gauge doesn't drop that much through here. We're still sneaking up towards the uh, two thirds all the time. Third through here. Oh, just sliding. I could have gone second just to gather that up a little bit, but I didn't. I've got a little bit of time on my side. 100 meter board, don't go too late. Break in a straight line, come off as you turn in. Down to the last corner, second for rotation, third over the corner, and then it's a straight drag to the line. And that is how I finally managed to get first place at the Nurburg, uh, sorry, at the Red Bull Ring uh, in the BMW M6. I'm going to be honest with you, I did not do that first attempt. That was quite a tough race. But we did manage to get the gold, 125,000 credits. Tough old race, that one. So the key things for me there was to 
go with the traction control six, although that does make you slightly slower, it did enable the car to not spin around quite so much. I could get the power down a little bit more. Using second and third for rotation in the corners, getting up into fourth and then fifth as soon as you can um, after the corners to try and get the power down. A little bit of aggressive defensive driving to keep these cars behind you in the early days. You wouldn't get away with that in the daily races, racing against real people. But against the AI, they'll bump me often enough, so I really, really don't mind too much. You can see here the BMW is coming up, so I'm just positioning my car to try and keep those two behind. Gone a little bit deep on that one. Again, that's a little bit of a cheat, I think, coming across there. It did give me a bit of a run on the two cars behind. So if you really are struggling, you could always just throw it off the track there each time and gain a little bit. Um, I did it um, by accident a few times, and I tried to keep it on the track as much as I could. Uh, but that was how I managed to get gold in this race at the Red Bull Ring. I hope you found this video useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new around here, please hit that subscribe button. And if you are a subscriber and back for more, thank you ever so much for continuing to support my channel. This was one tough race, and I'll be on to another of the new World Circuit races in the latest update 4.0 very, very soon. For now, I'm going to leave it there, and I'll see you again very, very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.